Now across the continent to southern Somalia, where African Union forces have seized control of territory from Al-Shabaab militants. But with ever-changing tactics, the terrorist group is proving to be difficult to eradicate. Viewers Gabe Jocelyn reports from the front line. In the early morning light, Amasam soldiers in southern Somalia deploy a surveillance drone to seek out a hidden enemy, the Al-Shabaab militants who once controlled this territory. Ugandan peacekeepers pushed most of the militant forces out of this area in the past two months, but the threat has not yet been completely eliminated. His eyes glued to the screen, soldier Dixon Arinetwe spots something suspicious. Yeah, a group of men in the same circle. So when they dictated us, yeah, when I would pass and they would disappear. And just like that, the enemy vanishes. In March, Ugandan soldiers reclaimed control of the town of Koriole, a major commercial center in the lower Shabeli region south of Mogadishu. Many people fled the town as peacekeepers closed in, but life is slowly starting to return to the streets. The militants had used this police station as their base of operations in town before being pushed out by Amasam and Somali forces. For years, Al-Shabaab's black flag waved from the flagpole above the square, but now it has been replaced by Somalia's national flag. Despite this success, Amasam captain Caesar Oweni says the group is down but not defeated. We could still have some few elements within town who have now melted into the community on civilian cloth. Yeah, and that is a group which can also mean to be very dangerous. Al-Shabaab has adopted different tactics since leaving Coriole, such as blocking off sections of the Shabeli River, flooding irrigation canals and roads. The disruption has impeded Amasam's movements and has cut off supply routes to town. Somali National Army Commander Mohamed Abdi says people are struggling to get basic items. The local community has a lot of issues and the roads connecting towns are not yet secure. While Amasam has been able to secure Coriole, the Somali National Army has been disorganized and unable to re-establish strong government control in this and other towns in the region. The Al-Shabaab problem has been pushed south and further operations are planned to remove the militants from their remaining bases. But if anything, the group has shown that resilience is its strong suit. Gabe Jocelyn, VOA News, Coriole, Somalia.